Okay fans, I'm back. My name is Ruku and you're joining me here with another beer review. And uh, I'm going to New Zealand now for some of their beer. And uh, this, I forgive me if I get this wrong. I think this is pronounced two, because I think that's an I. Or is it two L? Is that an L or is that an I? I think that's an I. So two, two L, not too sure. Um, this is apparently a East Indian Pale Ale and it comes in at 4%. So I've never really had many beers from New Zealand. There's only this and one other. Stay tuned for the other beer review that I'm going to do on um, New Zealand. That one is coming up soon after this video, so please watch that. Um, and we'll, we'll be comparing differences. So yeah, do check that one out when it's uploaded on my channel. Uh, 330ml. Um, there's the cap for an enthusiast, a picture of the bird. Uh, I don't know what this bird represents or even what it is, I'm not too sure. Must be a bird from New Zealand, I'm guessing. Uh, and also, I've noticed, <laughs> as the same as uh, a couple of beers that I'm familiar with, uh, one American beer called Pasp Blue Ribbon, and the Victoria Bitter from Australia. They also have little things in the caps. And this is obviously a question and answer. So I'm going to just read this out because I know that the camera's not picking this up too greatly. And to be fair, the inside of this cap has seen better days. Uh, let me see. I can't read that. This saved my life. I can't read that. I think it says, what does the Tukanda of Adidas and Puma have in common? They were brothers. I can't read that. I, I, I get this bit here, but it's just this word here I can't seem to pick up because it seems to be frosted over. But if you can make that out for me, please do comment. Tell me why that is. It, I don't know. It must be some joke of some sort. I didn't personally find that funny, but I don't know. Fact or joke, who knows, don't care. Anyway, this is an ale, apparently, though it doesn't look like an ale. Um, it's got a flat head, there's no head on it at all, I'm just concerned about that. Red, golden, well, amber red as you were. Very dark. Let me just see if I can get a head on this, because this is really starting to bug me. I've got a little bit left in the bottle, and I'm just, just going to work it. Shit, 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 shit. Oh. Oh, that was luck. That was nothing other than luck, people. <laughs> that nearly overspilled. There you go, thin, watery head that doesn't last long at all. I'll just keep an eye on that for a moment. As you can see, it's already diminishing slowly. Right, I'm just going to be very, very careful. I'm just going to say... Virtually gone. I'm actually gonna just drink some of this, just so that I, I don't spill it. But I, I will come back to the taste. I promise. Okay. So the smell. The smell is uh, a bit malty, bland, tiny bit fruity. Tiny bit of like an iron smell. Yeah. Not getting much on that, but very basic smells. Uh seriously, this 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 is really bugging me. Please, if anyone has can read this and, and knows what it means, really just come in with this because this is really starting to piss me off. I need to know what it means. Anyway. Um not very good smells then. Um, so I'm just going to dive in with a taste. I've already sampled a little bit, but I just want to just do this properly now for you guys. Okay. Um, 
to be fair, I don't think this is a nail. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to put it out there. Hands up, please go ahead and disagree with me here. But I don't think this is this is technically a nail. And I will explain because there's no hop to this. When you have an ale, it's generally hoppy. It gives you a hot bite, hop on the tongue, hop in the mouth, hop everything. Let's all go hopping mad. Um, but actually, this, this there's no hops to me. I'm not detecting anything. Um, to me, what it, it, it tastes like is, I know this is going to sound really stupid, almost like a little slight bit of black currant, very watery, light-bodied. Uh, after taste is a little bit fruity. A little bit fruity, sweet maltiness. The aftertaste sort of lingers with, with the combination between the fruit and light malt, sweet malt. Uh, a little bit dry on the tongue. I, but there's no sign of any hop, and I don't think this can be classed as a nail. If I'm being honest, I don't think this, this should be classed as an owl. Um, but a little bit of information for you fans and viewers. I don't often do this, as, a, as you know, if you're a regular viewer or a subscriber. I, when I can, I'll tell you some facts and figures about the beer. Though, to be brutally honest, I've been sloppy over the last couple of couple of videos, if you like. Um, but anyway, this apparently was first brewed in England. So in my hometown, England. Woohoo! Good old England, why do we always get the the stuff that we don't want? Um, this was first brewed in England last century, apparently, for the Connollys. Um, so, probably for the people that go into war, I don't know. I'm not, not a history buff, and I don't claim to be, but that's basically all I know about this. <laughs> so, I do apologise if uh, I can't tell you much more about that, but hey. I mean, this is drinkable, it's definitely got some sort of form of fruitiness to it, a bit watery, light bodied, easy on the palate, easy on the tongue. Yeah, you could you could quite happily down this, but the thing to me, that and it still bugs me, is I, I can't call it a, an ale. As it says there, ale. Uh, to me, it's just not, it just needs a bit more flavour to this again, very, it's got some good flavours there. But I just think it needs to be something else. I mean, this I can't class as an owl. I know I keep saying it. Forgive me if I keep saying it. It's starting to get on your nerves. But you just can't. And to me, this should be like an amber beer. or uh, Not an amber. Like a class as a dark beer or a reddish beer. Whatever the technical term for that should be. But definitely not an owl. Uh, New Zealand has only got one other beer that I'm aware of. I mean, I'm aware of about three or four beers out there. Um, but uh, I hope the next one I'm going to review will be a little bit better than this. Not a bad beer, but not great either. I wouldn't say it's... Let's all go mad for it. So, again, it's got to be... Uh, I'd say I'd say a 5 out of 10. Uh, just needs to be categorised in the right position uh, for that. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. A bit of a disappointing one, but hey-ho, this is why I like doing beer reviews, because you never know what's around the corner. So don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, join me next time for hopefully a better beer review from New Zealand.